Welcome to Let's Talk Machines, This is How I Glyph, a series where we review scripts that have been written to automate very specific tasks in pointwise or the entire meshing process. In this video, we're taking a look at aircraftmeasure.glyph. As opposed to some of the other scripts on our GitHub repository, this script demonstrates how users can automate the entire meshing process. The aircraft measure script creates an unstructured surface and viscous volume mesh in addition to setting up CAE boundary conditions for a generic transport aircraft model. In the script's header are a few user-defined parameters that provide users a distilled set of options which allow some control over the meshing process. Users can specify the particular pointwise project file name using the file name parameter. The size of the far field is determined by some characteristic length of the model. For this example, the characteristic length refers to the mean aerodynamic chord for this model. Next, the average DS1 and average DS2 parameters specify average delta S spacing values for the aircraft surface mesh, while the average DS3 parameter provides a similar delta S spacing for the far field surface. Because this script utilizes anisotropic triangles along leading and trailing edges of wing and tail surfaces, a target aspect ratio for these triangles can be defined using the aspect ratio parameter. The next few parameters provide users with some typical settings necessary for controlling the advancing layer tetrahedral extrusion, or T-Rex, volume meshing step. After the volume mesh has been created, Specific CAE boundary conditions can be set for any of the solver's pointwise supports. Before finishing, the grid is saved as a separate pointwise project file. From pointwise, I can execute the script from the script menu. For demonstration, I've set up the script to utilize a simple TK window to allow me to step through the meshing process. The version of the script available on our GitHub repository for this project doesn't include this feature and will run from start to finish without any need for additional user input. The aircraft measure script first loads the user-specified pointwise project file containing the geometry to be meshed. It then proceeds to create an isotropic surface mesh on the model while collecting the domains and connectors into variables that can be recalled later on. As you can see, the leading edges on the wing and tail are under resolved. So next, the script refines these areas using the average delta S spacing specified using the average DS2 parameter. Next, the grid point distribution along the root and tip connectors for the wing and tail are modified to prepare them for applying anisotropic triangles along their edges. Once this is done, 2D T-Rex is run on both the leading and trailing edges for both wing and tail surfaces. Notice there are some regions where the spacing is inconsistent. So the script next ensures that there are no large jumps in spacing of the surface mesh. Once that is finished, the surface mesh for the aircraft has been completed. The script next creates the far field and symmetry domains using the far field size specified in the script's header. Once the domains are created, an unstructured block is created and then initialized using T-Rex with the user-defined solver parameters. After initialization completes, the script reports on a number of grid quality criteria, such as maximum included angle, centroid skew, and aspect ratio. 
It also reports on how many cells are above the user-specified threshold values for the cell quality criteria via the messages window. Before the script finishes, it applies CAE boundary conditions for the user-specified CAE solver and saves the grid into a separate pointwise project file within the working directory where the script and geometry reside. And that's how the aircraft measure script works. If you liked this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description.